convene of the Public Interest Litigation Committee. We came to court this morning of uh, three individuals who were arrested yesterday and were incarcerated at Kamkunji Police Station. That is uh, Bonfes Mwangi, Ngatia Kimavi, and Matthias Shibeta. We have been informed that they are in the court uh, parking lot. However, we have been in court since morning. They have not been presented in court. We feel that there is an attempt to defeat justice. The constitution requires that accused persons must be presented in court within 24 hours. These individuals, as you are aware, were arrested yesterday and were taken to Kamkunji and that is where they spend their night. The least the police could have done was to present them with any charges they have before court. We find it mischievous to have an accused person in the court premise but not under the court's custody because they are in a police car. If you had the intention to bring them to court for purpose of charging them, then have the guts to bring them to court with whatever charges so that the court can make a decision as to whether you have the power to hold them. We are demanding the Inspector General of Police to find out why these three individuals who are exercising their constitutional right to demonstrate are not being produced in court as the law requires and are being held at the court's parking lot. It's not fair, it's unjust, it's unconstitutional. If the three individuals committed any offense, our laws require that you must present them in court within that period. They have not been presented in court. We have not seen a copy of the charge sheet as we speak right now I don't believe the DPP intends to sign any charge sheet at this time. We believe there's an intention to continue holding them beyond the constitutional limits of 24 hours. And we demand that uh, the Director of Public Prosecution and the Inspector uh, General of Police to intervene and allow these people to be released. Secondly, we had massive numbers of people, uh, members of the public arrested yesterday and they were massively released before the end of the day. We received reports from yourselves that there were close to 400 people who have been arrested because of demonstrating, and in the evening they were released. Why are you holding these three individuals? I, I, aren't, aren't you being unfair to hold three individuals over the same crime you released almost 397 people? We demand that they are produced in court here today, and as a law society, we are very keen to ensure that the rights and fundamental freedoms of, our, of the members of the public are protected at any cost. The court is in session. We expect that they, have, they produce the three accused persons today in court with or without a charge sheet so that the court can be able to make a decision as to whether the police can hold them further. We know there are scheduled uh, demonstrations tomorrow. I don't think uh, they have an intention to charge them. The intention is to hold them so that they don't participate and exercise their rights, if they intend to anyway. So we are asking them to produce them in court here. There is a duty charge, hand, uh, a magistrate handling police. Let them be presented in court so that they can answer to any charges that uh, the officers intend to present against the three individuals. Uh, that is all from us. Uh, Steve? Yes, I mean, I'm in with the LSK, and uh, we are very saddened that uh, this, uh, the government, the police, uh, the NPS, is doing what they're doing to the members of this country. Yesterday we witnessed uh, crazy actions of people being arrested, young people especially, being harassed, Advocates trying to secure their release, which is a constitutional right, being attacked, with tear gas and others even injured. And uh, we are wondering whether we are going back to the back old dark days of uh, the former President Moy, where people suffered seriously in the early 90s. We shall not allow that as the law society of Kenya. That's why we turned out today to ensure that those who were arrested yesterday and were not released, that is a uh, boneface, uh, Sipeti and uh, Shipeta and also Ngatia. We are wondering what are the basis of releasing almost 400 people and uh, you are remaining with three people who you don't explain why you continue holding them.
We understand it's past 12 p.m. where church sheets have not been registered. And we know there's a directive on having the church sheet being registered before 12. So we want to see what magic they want to pull and why these individuals are in a car parking lot being held by two individuals whom we don't even know who they are and they're not registered as persons who have been booked in the Milimani premises. So it's our call to the ODPP uh, to intervene, it's our call to the Inspector General of Police to intervene, and it's our call for all the stakeholders to ensure that they play a part in safeguarding our constitution because we gave this constitution unto ourselves. And we did that to ensure we protect the fundamental human rights and freedoms. So we are looking forward to ensure that they do that. If they don't, we shall make the necessary applications before the court. And I know that we shall ensure justice prevail and the people of Kenya are free from this kind of uh, harassment and violations of their fundamental rights and freedoms. Thank you. We shall be waiting for them in court.